Now in beauty, Trudy is here to talk about spring hair trends. Morning, Morning. Trudy. Lovely to have you here as always. Thank you. So what's hot with colour this spring? Look, it's platinum, I've got to say. And if you want to be blonde and platinum, then you've got to invest in a purple shampoo because you're going to need it. Purple but shampoo yeah, is vital. Very, very, very light blonde. You know, there is also a movement towards red, and with that comes a beautiful rose gold as well. So there's our gorgeous platinum. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Zoe that's, Kravitz. That I is mean, high maintenance, oh, Zoe. Such high maintenance. As I said, that beautiful rosy gold, which is great for if you can't wear platinum, because some women can't, you know, if their skin tone doesn't doesn't work for them. Um, as I said, red, beautiful coppers, um, cayenne pepper type colouring, which is gorgeous. Again, these these high colours with UV need a lot of attention in terms of um, tinted shampoos and conditioners. Yeah, they certainly do. Yeah. That blonde, I've been that platinum colour before. I know, it is high maintenance, but it's stunning in summer. Looked amazing. So what about the cut? What are we talking? Are we, are we going long or short? Well, look, I enlisted the help of the New Zealand hairdressers of the year to ask to oh, give me these answers. <laughs> Danny Pato from DNM. He said there's two camps. He's a really Really good short pixie cut, which is really, really strong. And of course, that beautiful bob that we, you know, I mean, you're rocking one today. I've got a longer lobby sort of looking bob. But we just, I mean, look, it's a seasonal favourite. You know, women always reach for it because it always looks stylish. Yeah. And it's, I think it's a cut that you can manage yourself. Um, the little baby fringe is really, really hot right now. Yeah, that takes a certain person to get away with. It does take a certain with. person. But what I love about it is it actually... If you pull your hair back with a baby fringe, it almost looks like you've got a short haircut. So you can sort of delve into that world of going short and not yeah. actually fully commit to it. Okay, because a pixie cut takes a lot of, that's a certain face shape that can do that as well. It, it is. Curls huge too. Ring nutty curl. Um, another couple of images coming up now. Gorgeous ring nutty curl. Another little tip is curl is, if you've got natural curl this summer, you can really work with it. Yeah. But it needs to be nicely well nourished, I think, because often curly hair is slight, slightly dry here. Okay. So look yeah. for a leave-in treatment or good conditioner that will help nourish the curl. So what's the best way to style your hair in the heat? You know what? I think it all starts in the shower. And I've said this before because what you prep your hair with it actually cuts down the styling time and you don't yeah. really want to use a lot of hot tools in summer because it exasperates that dryness and frizz. So I say look for what you're washing your hair with and I've brought in a couple of options. Um, one I want to quickly talk about is Fudge. A famous brand has relaunched. They've got a luminizer and a clean blonde. They've also got a blue brunette tinted shampoo and conditioner. Um, the luminizer, amazing shine, great for your beautiful Astra you know, your um, asymmetrical really? bob. Good. So shiny. And it's hard to get shiny here when it's blonde too. So yeah, that's a brilliant one. It is. And a clean blonde, which has got um, an, a thing called Optiplex in it, which actually nourishes the hair, but it also cleans out that brassiness that you yeah. need. Um, we were just talking about, hang on, we were just talking about bobs before. What is the bob shape that we're going to be seeing? Blunt but a little bit textured. So you're bang on trend Am with I? your blunt bob. And a lot of internal layering, which your hairdresser's probably done at the back oh, to yes. help it sit out, you know, and that's the thing about a bob. You want something that's going to give you the movement but not look too frizzy or fluffy mm. when it's layered. Took a lot of a lot of layering in this. I've got quite thick hair. Yeah, underneath. So that's called internal layering. So mm. actually props the hair out and actually gives it that good finish but um, it doesn't look glad and frizzy yeah. and fluffy on top. Okay, so we talked about my hair do a lot because you know, yeah. I'm quite happy oh, with it. The other thing is too, one tip about Bob, sit still when you're having a haircut. Yes. Because it's really difficult for the stylist to get a good guideline. And don't cross your legs. Mm. And don't cross your legs. So sit still, look into the mirror and I mean, you know, chat all you like but keep still, keep your head still. Okay, what's this? Keeping with Wendell's theme, um, Happy Naturals. This is an amazing brand in the supermarket, 97% natural. So if you're really Yum. concerned about what you're washing down the drain, that's a goodie. What is this? And Vinegar Rinse from Redken, that old wives' tale of giving your hair shine with vinegar. It's bottled for you from Redken. Um, and finally, Moroccan Oil, I love this brand, have launched the most amazing cleansing foam. You don't need any water. It cleans and styles and helps maintain your curl with tea tree Whoa. oil. I thought great for summer, camping, yeah. batch. Away on the boat. Trudy, thank you so much. Pleasure. And for more beauty advice, head to beautyeq.co.nz.